Good morning. Hmm. Thank you for coming to Virtual Church. Let's do a worship song. Yeah. This is DJ Maddie with the lads and the Na Na song. Get ready to move to the never failing, ever remaining promises of God. Let's go. God is with you when you rise. So move yourself to the left and the right. He's with you when you're up and down. And bounce and pop down to the ground. God is with you 24 7. Step left and right. Keep on stepping. He's with you through the highs and lows. Clap, clap your hands as you go. Yeah. Do you got it? I don't know. This time I want you to holler out the promises while you move. Look, like this. God is with me when I rise. So move yourself to the left and the right. He's with me when I'm up and down. So bounce and pop down to the ground. That's right. God is with me 24 7. Left step right. Keep on stepping. He's with me through the high and low. Clap your hands as you go. Now raise your arms and say. Do you want to hear a Bible story about Noah's Ark? Hmm. Stories of the Bible. Noah builds a boat. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a large boat. Okay. And told him exactly how to build the boat. All right, got it. Then God told Noah that he would cover the earth with a flood but that Noah and his family would be safe. Oh, thank you. God told Noah to fill the boat with a pair of every kind of animal and bird. Hey, bird! And to bring enough food for his family and the animals. I've got it. So Noah did everything exactly as God commanded him. All right, all you, come on. He filled the boat with a pair of every animal, bird, and small animal that scurries along the ground. Colored, bird, moss, okay, all here. Then Noah, his family, and all the animals went into the boat, and then they waited for the flood to come. Did you know that our words can get us in a lot of trouble? when all they do is flow right out of our mouth. Well, when you say something nice to someone, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel good. Mm. Makes you feel warm inside. Mm. Makes you feel happy. Yay! But when somebody says something to you that's not nice, or calls you a name, it makes you feel sad. It makes you feel small. It makes you feel unhappy. 
Am I right? Nobody likes to have words said to them that aren't nice. So I thought I would bring in something today and I would show you a little object lesson. Cue the object lesson. Other hand. Ouch. <laughs> right here, I have a tube of toothpaste and a very fancy plate. When you say your words, they just, oh, let me open it up. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. When you say your words and they're not nice, it's like this toothpaste. The words come out, oh, there they go. There they go. Oh my, oh my. The words just keep coming out. And now that we got all the words out and the toothpaste is empty, taking back those words is just like trying to get this toothpaste back in the tube. So how do we take back those words? Boys and girls, it's very tricky. It's very tricky to take back those mean words that we said. And so we need to remember to be kind to each other because taking back those mean words is like taking all this toothpaste and squeezing it back in that little tube. Oh my. Trying to get it back in there would be nearly impossible. Huh? Oh no, what a mess. Ew, but it smells minty. Mm. Well, boys and girls, when we say those mean words, the first thing we have to do is ask for forgiveness because those aren't nice. And the Bible tells us a very important verse, one of my very favorites. Be ye kind, one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. And that's in Ephesians 4.32. That's what we need to remember, boys and girls, because sometimes when we say mean things, it takes a long time for that person to forget about them. And it really, really hurts their feelings. So we always need to use kind words. And think about this toothpaste. Mm, we don't want our words to get stuck out just like that. Because that can hurt somebody else. <laughs> See you next week.